Welcome or welcome back at Cisco. In this uh, lesson, we'll talk about three-dimensional figures, and uh, we, some of them are what we call them polyhedrons because they have flat faces, like uh, a prism. Okay, this is a polyhedron, and uh, in this case, because we have a rectangular prism. Uh, we can have a different basis, but in this case, in this picture, this is what I call a base. Now, of course, the one here also be a base. Like I said, this is a rectangular prism, so basically any, any face you see here can become a base. Uh, on the other hand, if you have some other prism, depends on the, how the base looks like, a triangular Prism, for example, the base is a triangle. A pentagonal prism, the base is a, a pentagon. So these are the bases. The lateral faces are the other one, like uh, the one here on the right. And if you want to name it, uh, we can name it using the letter you see there. So uh, the H G C the one in front is another lateral face and we have two more which I'm not gonna shade it because then it's gonna be too much on this picture is the one on the left uh, E F B A and the one on the back F G C B so that is about this uh, polyhedron called prism what is in this lesson what I want to cover is well, also the surface area which means uh, the uh, sum of the area of the bases the two bases this one plus the four rectangle uh, left right back front uh, you add all these guys there is a formula which can be used where P is the perimeter, H is the height of the prism, and B obviously is the area of the base. We can use that formula. The next thing is the volume. The volume is what you put inside of a three-dimensional shape. In this case, the prism. There is a formula, V equals area of the base times the height. Uh, in this case, we uh, on a rectangular prism, we have another one, length times width times height, which can be used. Uh, let's see an example. Find the surface area and the volume of the uh, prints below. Let's start with the surface area, which I call it SA. And we can use the formula I just said before, or you can use, like I said, a break uh, in a faces plus the two bases, which I'm going to do it, in fact. So uh, if you take a look, Let's start with the base. The base is, like I said, uh, this rectangle A, B, C, D, and that will be length times width, and that will be 5 times 6, and that will be 30. We have two of them, the bottom and the top. So that is, I'm gonna say here, two times thirty. But now let's get, let's go to this face here, and uh, let me call it GHDC. And that one is a rectangle, and you notice we have this six here and this ten here, six times ten. And that will be 60. Now we have another one, this one here, which is also 60. F, B, A, E. So let me write here plus 2 times 60. And do we have another one? Well, we have back and front. So let's say I'm going to call it E, H, D, A. And in this case, we have this 5. And this one will be 10, like this one here. 
So we're going to have 5 times 10, which is 50. And we have two of those. OK, so now the surface area is now is going to be nothing else than 2 times 3 is 30 is 60. 2 times 60 is 120 and 2 times 50 is 100. We're going to add these three values, 60 plus 120 and 100. That will be 280. We don't have any units, so we'll leave it like that, 280 square units, let's say like this. Okay, uh, let's move to the next thing, which is the volume. The volume, if you remember, we have a formula which says area of the base times the height. Now, the base we just did it is right here. It's just that 30. And the height, the height is this 10, or the other 10, obviously. It is... 300. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 300 cubic units. An alternate formula for this rectangular prism will be length times width times height, and you're going to get the same value, but this works only for rectangular prism. Don't use this formula for any other prism. My next uh, polyhedron, if you remember the name, is what we call a pyramid. You see it here. Uh, in my picture, we have one base. So A, B, C, D is the base. And uh, we have lateral faces like V, A, B. And you notice this is this is a triangle VBC. All these are lateral faces VDC. And we have a fourth one VDA. Lateral faces. Um, and all meet in this point here, which we call it a uh, vertex. So we have the same thing. We can calculate the surface area, which is the sum of the areas in the base and the, in this case, the four triangles, because these are rectangular prism. Uh, we have a formula here, surface area equals one over two P times, now you see this L is what we call the slant height. Let me show you what the slant height here is this segment. I mean, this is one of the slant height, obviously. That is perpendicular on uh, this uh, side of the rectangular pyramid. Obviously, we can have another altitude, this one. And this is a slant height also. Can we have another one? Obviously we can. One that correspond to this phase, VDA, or the one in the back, VDC. So multiple way to see that slant height, which is a segment that is perpendicular on the one of the side of the prism. And it works, I'm sorry, a pyramid. And it works for any, any pyramid, not only rectangular. Uh, pyramid, the one we have in this case. The volume is very similar to the one for the uh, prism. Just divide by three or multiply by one third. Let's see this example here. And again, I'm going to use what I just said. I'm going to add the area of this, uh, the base and this lateral faces for the surface area. So surface area will be area of the base plus the, let me call it the lateral area, okay, um, and the base will be this rectangle, this square, in fact, because I probably should have said that 
DC, D is the base, E is a square. So 10 times 10. And that will be 100. Now we're going to move to this slider later. I'm going to start to any of these faces since it's a, a base is a square, so a square pyramid. So let's do V, D, C. How are we going to find the area of that V, D, C? which is a triangle, obviously. Okay, I'm going to try to draw this segment, which is, if you remember, the slant height. Now, if I connect this point E with this point where the slant height intersect DC, this is a right triangle. Okay, so which I'm going to do it here. And if you take this, if you take a look, this nine here is the height, the one of the leg of this right triangle. And uh, you notice this ten. This segment here I'm doing it's also ten, so this is going to be only half five. So uh, now we can find this segment which is the slant height using Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equals c square a and b are the legs of this triangle 5 and 9 5 square plus 9 square equals l square so we have here 5 square which is 25 plus 9 squared, which is 81, equals L squared. So L squared equals 106. So L will be nothing else than square root of 106, which cannot be simplified. But we can go down back here and find the area of the this phase VDC, which is a triangle. So we're going to have 1 over 2 times the base, which in this case is 10, times the height, which in this case is square root of 106. And that will be, we can simplify two goes in turn five times. That will be 5 square root of 106. And if you remember, I said the lateral area in this case is four times one face all faces are the same there are uh, because the base is a square all of them are isosceles triangle if you want a name for them and that will be in here for case in this case four times five twenty twenty square root of one of six so now we can go back and uh, write what the surface area is is 100 plus 20 square root of 106 square units. I'm not going to simplify since I'm, I'm not asked to do this. This is the answer. Let's go to the next thing, which is the volume. The volume will be 1 over 3 area of the base times the height so don't forget that one over three and i think we can jump to this last part very fast one over three area of the base we did it is right here 100 times the height the height is this nine okay so here we can simplify one way to treat it and it's 100 times 3, which is going to be 300. 300 cubic units. Okay. Now we're going to look to some other three dimensional figures that are not polyhedron because they don't have faces like a cylinder, you see. We do not have polygon as a face. Um, cylinder, if you notice, I said here is a, a solid that has two congruent, congruent so the same uh, shape and parallel bases 
that are circle. These are the bases. And this is a circle. Or the one here is a circle. Okay. So now we can uh, move to the next thing, which is the surface area and the volume. The surface area, we do have a formula here. Which, uh, if you remember, is useful. But let's be sure that R you see there is the radius, which is this guy. Of course, you can go from under the, the other base and this is the radius also. Um, the volume, also we have a formula that is the same for a, a prism, area of the base times the height. But since the base is a circle, we can have this formula in case you remember. That would be great. So let's see an example here. We need to find the surface area and the volume of the cylinder below. Okay, so we can use the formula we have, or I'm going to use this alternate form. I'm going to add the two bases and the lateral area of this uh, cylinder. The base, like I said, is a circle. It's pi r squared. Now, how much is the radius in this case? The radius is this 6. So it's going to be pi times 6 squared. And that will be 36 pi. 36 pi. Um, so we have here 2 times 36 pi. Now, what about the lateral area? The lateral area is that first part in the formula, if you remember. But an easy way to remember is the circumference of the base 2 pi r times the height. Why? Because this lateral face is like a rectangle. So, we're going to have 2 pi times uh, the radius, this is 6, uh, times the height, this is 8. So we have 2 times 6 times 8. Uh, we're going to multiply these two, three numbers. And that is 96. So the latter area is 96 pi. So now we can move and get the value plus 96 pi here, let me be sure. We can get the surface area, that will be 2 times 36, that is 72 pi plus 96 pi. So the surface area will be, and here we just add 72 and 96. That will be 168, 168 pi square units. What about the volume of this guy? If you remember, we have a formula that works for a prism also, area of the base times the height. But since the base here is a circle, we have pi r squared h. That's the formula that I just showed you the slide before, which if you remember, that would be great. So that would be pi times the radius 6 square and in fact you notice that's what we did here times the height so we have here pi times 36 times 8 so we just need to do 36 times 8 and that is 288 so the volume is 288 don't forget the pi cubic units Okay, and that is for this cylinder. Another three-dimensional shape is what we call a cone. 
a right cone we're gonna talk here in fact we talk about a right cylinder and a right prism just to be sure and the right pyramid all the shape we talk so far were right uh, figures um, and you see here the definition of a cone uh, it looks very similar to a pyramid however the base is a circle this is the vertex uh, and this is the altitude is this segment that is perpendicular on the base so I can draw here like a 90 degree angle very similar we have surface area and the volume we have a formula pi r l plus pi r square l is the slant height but in this case this is the slant height l and the radius you go from the center for example to this point b that's the radius um, and then we have the volume which again is very similar over pyramid and in this case since the base is a square we can use this for so let's see this example we have here we need to find the surface area and the volume of the cone below we're going to start with surface area and again i'm going to use that al an alternate form which says area of the base plus the lateral area this one by the way works for uh, all the prism the only thing you need to be careful what these bases are in the lateral area in this case the base is a circle so we have pi r square so it's going to be pi times and the radius you see it is this one here 5 square that will be 25 pi so surface area here is going to be 25 pi Plus, and now the lateral area, the lateral area that will be interesting. I have no choice. I will say, you remember this guy, pi r l. Uh, it's a sector of a circle. In case you want to know what that is, and in this case, it's pi times the ra radius, which is five. And we do have a problem here, right? Uh, we do not know the slant height yet. We do not know how much this L is, but again, if you remember, this is another radius and this is 5. So I can do exactly what I did before. This is 9, this is 5, this is a right triangle. I need to find this L. So I'm going to have the same thing we did for the previous shape. Uh, the pyramid a square plus b square equal c square so we have 5 square plus 9 square equal l square the slant height so we're gonna have 25 plus 81 oh it's the same thing yes i'm gonna i'm doing the math again l square is 106 so l will be square root of 106 so it was the same the same number they were the same number so uh, nothing new here I think and the only thing probably I will do this way 5 pi square root of 106 I will write this like that uh, and that is right here 5 pi square root of 106 and you know what I will leave it like that square units and uh, that's the surface area let's move to the next thing which is the volume of this cone the volume if you remember is 1 over 3 very important to remember that part 1 over 3 area of the base times the height area of the base is that circle so we can replace it either of the value we did it before or let's do it this way pi r square oops I forgot 1 over 3 1 over 3 pi r square h so it's going to be 1 over 3 times pi times radius square 
times the height, which is this 9. So we're going to have 1 over 3 times pi times 25 times 9. I will suggest you to simplify if possible. In this case, we can. This 3 goes in the 9 3 times, and we have 3 times 25. That is 75 pi cubic units. This is the volume. For this um, three-dimensional shape called the cone. And the last shape in uh, that I will talk here, it's uh, a sphere, a ball. And you see the definition here is the set of all points in space equidistant from a given point called the center. So all these points are equidistant. And this guy is going to be the radius. Okay, all the points on the... Uh, uh, sphere are equidistant. We have these two formula. Uh, surface area equals pi r squared, right? Remember I just did in the previous slide. This is r, the radius of this grand circle, how it's called. And we have four of them. Remember that. And this is the formula for the volume, 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And again, r is the radius. So let's see this example here. When we have to find the surface area and the volume of the sphere, the surface area, if you remember, is 4 pi r squared. The radius is 6 in this case. So we have here 4 pi times 36 and 4 times 36 will be 144 pi square units. And we need now to find the volume. So you notice here we don't have lateral area, we just have surface area. The volume, if you remember, we have that formula 4 over 3 pi r cube. You have to remember this formula in case you need it and are not provided to you. So we have in this case 4 over 3 pi times the radius is 6, 6 cube. And that will be 4 over 3 pi times 216. Again, I would prefer to simplify if it's possible. 3 goes in 216, 72 times. So I have 4 times 72 here. And that is 288 pi cubic units. This is the volume of this uh, three-dimensional shape called the sphere. In my last part of the lesson, I'm going to do some real-life application. We have here a cylindrical speaker that is 15 inches high and has a base radius of 6 inches. Find the surface area of the speaker, write your answer to the nearest inch, nearest square inch. So let's do that speaker. is a cylinder like this. I know my picture is not going to be a very nice one, but this is a cylinder. The height is 15 and the radius is this guy and it's 6. So how do I find the surface area of this guy? If you remember, this is the lateral area plus the two bases. I think in the uh, previous one I start backwards, two bases plus the lateral area. But the lateral area here is... Uh, that rectangle that goes around the cylinder, if you remember, and that will be 2 pi r, the circumference of the base, times the height. So we're going to have 2 times pi times the radius, which is 6, times the height, which is 15. So that will give us 2 times 6, 12, 12 times 15. And that will be 180 
180pi that is the lateral area so let's go here and say the surface area is 180pi plus 2 times and how much is the base? the base is that circle that has a radius of 6 pi r square and that will be pi times 6 square and that will be 6 square 36 36 pi 2 times 36 pi here so the surface area will be 180 pi plus 72 pi right we 2 times 36 is 72 so the surface area will be uh, 180 plus 72 and that will be 252 uh, pi and square inches okay this is the exact value but if you take a look we need to evaluate this one we need to do it to the nearest square inch so again we need a calculator here and we're gonna do this 252 times pi i end up with 791 in fact 792 because i'm gonna round it to the nearest square inch and that's it for this uh, problem and my last problem in this lesson will be about this one you have a fish tank um, and you want to fill in this your your fill your tank is filled 75 percent fish tank is uh, 15 inches long twelve inches wide and fifteen inches high uh, your tank is filled seventy five percent of the volume find the volume of the water in gallons as you notice so we have a rectangular prism i'm gonna try to draw one hopefully i can do a decent one okay uh, see how i do it okay something like this will be the rectangular prism i mean if you really want to be accurate you should do some dash lines like these two uh, this one should be dash we do not see it this one should be dash we do not see it and we have one more that we should make it dashed okay so this is the rectangular prism in case you want to draw or sketch one and they said the fish tank is 15 inches long uh, is uh, 15 inches high and 12 inches wide oops let's do that 12 oh, it'll be better okay so 12 so we need to find the volume and do you remember we have an alternate formula here for a rectangular piece we can just say length times width times height just for rectangular prism i want to be sure you know that's the shape it works um, so in this case we have the length of 15 times the width of 12 times the height of 15 let's multiply these three numbers 15 times 12 times 15 I end up with 20 700 2700 this is the volume uh, cubic uh, inches 
Okay, now we want to find out how much water is in this uh, tank since 75% of the tank is filled. So, uh, probably the best thing uh, to do first is to find out the volume of the water in inches. This is the volume of the tank. But we don't have water in uh, all that volume. So the volume of the water will be 75%, 75% of the volume. So that will be 0.75. You can just move the decimal twice to the left. So that's the reason I'm going to have here 0.75 times 2700. So let's grab a calculator. Two thousand and twenty-five cubic inches of water, but we are not asked to find in cubic inches. We are asked to find in gallons. So this is a good answer. However, we need to do something else. We have couple choices here probably the, the way I will do it I'll say I will be will be proportion one gallon is 231 cubic inches right so I, I will use that last statement in the problem and I'm wondering how many gallons are in 2,025 cubic inches. So if you do not see the shorter way, this is going to be a good way to solve this problem. You're going to cross multiply and we have here 231 times X equals 1 times 2,025. Right. Okay. And then we're going to divide by 231 to get this x. Remember the x means in fact the volume of the water in this case. So we're going to have 1 times 2025 divided by 231 and that simply means 2025 divide by 231. That is that will be the shortcut. So this x is 8 point uh, uh, let's round to the nearest tenth so 8.8 .8 gallons. So the volume of the water in gallons is 8.8. .8. that's it for today lesson if you enjoy today lesson don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you